Get him, Kindred. Alright, Kindred will kill that thing. Nice, I like that. Alright, so we're two damage away. Oh man, that's not very much damage away. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sivir Kindred. That's right, we are going to try a Kindred deck because we have Viego out that everybody's, you know, talking about Viego and Viego is the five mana champion in Shadow Isles now that's super popular, but they're still Kindred. I know there's Thresh also, but, you know, people forget about Kindred and Kindred's pretty cool. And it's just well-designed card. Want to try out a, a uh, Kindred deck. So we're going to be pairing Kindred with Sivir, because, you know, Sivir is pretty awesome. But uh, the reason why to pair these two together is because they both have quick attack. They're both kind of similar champions in that regard. And we want to be able to slay units with Kindred. And uh, Sivir can do a good job slaying units as well. So what we're going to do is kind of combine those and have Vulnerable as being a, a little part of the deck. We're going to have Merciless Hunters and Exhausts. You know, being able to have that that vulnerable and trying to slay units with both Sivir and Kindred being good champions at uh, slaying stuff with the vulnerable. Besides that, we'll be able to slay our own units. We're going to have Curse Keeper and Fading Icon in here with like Wings of the Wave, Ravenous Butcher. Uh, well, Treasure, Treasure Seeker, of course, is going to be our one drop. Uh, Glimpse Beyond. So, you know, hopefully we can slay our own units as well. Um, we'll also have a Siphoning Strike for removal. And then we'll have the Absolver for a finisher, because the Absolver with the Overwhelm is awesome with Sivir, but then also with a leveled up Kindred. Because you know when you have your leveled up Kindred and you are able to slay a few units, this thing can grow. Each one it gets plus two, plus two. So maybe you'll have like a 7-7 seven, seven, or a 9-9 nine, nine, or 11-11. Eleven, eleven. But it can't really get through because it's just a, a generic, very large attacker. And so the Absolver, if we get in that scenario, can be a good finisher with giving Kindred that, that Overwhelm. So... Um, let's go ahead and, uh, give this a try, you know, trying something a little different. Let's try pairing Sivir with Kindred. Here we go. We'll go play five games in rank. Um. So question is, is what's your opinion on the five mana drain two from two different things? Um, I, I really don't know. I don't have like a strong opinion on that card. I kind of I kind of need to see it in action first, but I can I can understand the the potential of it. Um, but yeah, I'm just not sure. Bless the faithful and see the heretics. Gently, gently. All right, so I like our opening hand. We got both champions. And we got one drop, two drop. Steady now. No mercy for heretics. Lots of flea feather trackers. Sorry, little O1, I think you're gonna be dying. Could certainly see just not playing anything here. And just saving all spell mana. Um I think I'm gonna just save spell mana. Heroes go hungry. Business as usual. Cool, take out that card that would normally challenge Sivir. I do have a backup Kindred.
Hope this works. Okay. So we do have a backup kindred. Mm. So I'm gonna play the Fading Icon plus the Spirit Leech so that I can attack with those. And, you know, one, I wanna draw a couple more cards. Right, but two, I wanna be able to attack with these to just help this Sivir level up. Good card. I cannot help. No closer. No. That's all. All right, cool. So twenty four out of thirty. GG's. Nice gold mages. That was very good gold mages. I guess maybe playing the Kindred. Yo, if I, if I just let them challenge my Sivir and then play Kindred afterwards, I guess that was the thing to do. I guess playing that, that Kindred really didn't work out playing that. And letting them kill it and keep the Screeching Dragon alive. So I think that's that's where I messed up letting the Kindred kill this. Screeching Dragon kill the Kindred and stay alive. I... Hmm. It's like Freljord for like Frostbite. I'm just gonna send these back. It's a good card. I I wish it didn't cost. Yes, I agree that you know, said so it's too expensive. I wish it didn't cost five because I just don't like how all these Shadow Isles champions cost the exact same amount of mana. They all cost five. I don't like that. So it'd it'd be really nice at four just to have something different. But that's not how life is. I don't really want to, so obviously I was planning on Butcher, but with them playing this thing, I didn't want to have the 4-2 the Escaped Abomination trade with that 2-1. I think Kindred could be a 5-5. Five five. I think that would kind of be nice to have a 5-5 a five five Kindred. I think, that would, I think that's reasonable. Hey, Lola. does turn back into a 4-1 anyway, but... It's always Viego on 5. I've never played against Viego without Viego on 5. I was about to say that. Uh, especially today. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I haven't... Yeah, I don't think I've ever played a Viego deck that hasn't had Viego on 5. Yet. Heroes. 
just go hungry. Oppose me and die! In case they were trying to, like, glimpse beyond the Spiderling and grow in the Viego like that. Ah, Troll Chan. I'm worried about another soul chant. I want to be able to handle another troll chant. Danger pays. At least it was a, you know, kind of like a created card for a, a real card. just gonna kill me. So this is Hydrovine. That's pretty good pretty good deck design of you know being able to protect Viego with Troll Chant and Frostbite. And then you know if you got those kind of things and you got your Camivoran Soldier on three and your Viego on five and your um, Hydrovine on seven. That does sound pretty good. Dead meat. Here's your gun. That does sound pretty good. How close are you to leveling up? Ten. Pay by the hour. Can't block that thing. I can't have. Can't have it level up. I guess I don't really need my server to level up right now. Up, Diego. Yeah, I can't stomp it. I really hope they don't have another Viego. But I mean, come on, who are we kidding? <laughs> so far, our Viego opponents have had a Viego every single time. Like I was saying. Three 
got a four. Well, I guess my only chance is... So otherwise, we're completely dead. So I, I have to do this and make it four out of four for the ricochet. And now the ricochet, two of them have to hit the Viego. That's my only chance. Kill Viego, please. One. Oh. All right, 0 and 2. GG's, Viego. GG's. All right, thank you, Nasher. The bet is loss. Oh, well, nobody nobody bet on loss. I'm not going to just... I'm just going to delete it. It's 0% bet on loss. Yeah, but I'm not going to take away 8,000 points from people. Viego Nassus. I don't think you did. It, it showed on my... It didn't show that you had bet at all. It didn't show that anybody had bet on loss at all. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know. So we're going to have, you know, Merciless Hunter into Sivir. We know our opponent is playing uh, Viego on round 5, and then whenever I kill it, there's going to be an immediate new Viego. I know what I'm worth. And then if I kill that one, there will be another immediate new Viego, at least that's how it's been so far today. I guess we trade. Do we? I mean, the Treasure Seeker can kind of trade with that. I I want to. You know, I do want to deal damage, level up Sivir. I'm gonna go with that so that Sivir can do damage, because I'm at 0 out of 30 right now for damage. It's not very much damage. I guess I could have just kept Glimpse Beyond available. Fourteen damage. If I'd forgotten them, no. So they have used two vile feasts already. Well, we got some card draw this time. Could be a good spear leech. She waits for me beyond the mist. 
My queen. Come on, please work. Please work. Yes! Oh, that feels so good taking down a Viego. Alright, now we have buffed up Sivir as well. That's all. I would like to try to level up my Sivir, please. Oh, Ruin Runner, you're in the deck. Fancy seeing you here. If I play this Sivir Champion spell, then Sivir's leveled up. I think I want to do that. Try to clear out some of the stuff. I want to level up Sivir. And then we could do like Absolver with the Overwhelm and everything if we want. Bring out the wealth a little bit. That's a lot of overwhelm. Alright, GG's. Absolver with leveled up Sivir, pretty nice. The real treasure is friendship. That's the gold. I mean this seems to be working, this repeatable thing. Y'all are saying it's bugged, but I don't really know how it's bugged. It seems to be working just fine. Alright, prediction started. If you want to wager your channel points. We got another Viego deck. Looks like the same one from before with Freljord for Frostbite and Troll Chance. So it probably means it's going to be impossible to kill Viego. Hooray. I don't want to keep the exhaust to go along with the sever. Therefore probably means... Um, you know, Rekindler also and... Everything, so... This is going to be tough. Yeah, Howling Abyss is my favorite card in the game. Love playing Howling Abyss decks. You must know me, yeah. Um, auction. Now with Howling Abyss. Uh, that is... You know, very... You know, like, that's a really cool combination if you could ever pull it off. It's difficult to pull off, but if you ever get to... Then you're just living the dream. Actually, let's save the Vile Feast for after a Kindred. So basically traded my 0 mana Butcher for their 1 mana Hapless Aristocrats. And you know, we played a 2 mana 3-1. Honor is the rest on a dull blade.
while they stalking shadowed the sol the soldier. Well, that's pretty nice. Danger pays. Don't think I'm gonna exhaust that. I think I'm gonna wait on exhaust. So Viego will be, and yeah, they have Viego Troll Chant. I guess Viego Troll Chant would really be a problem. That's a good call. That's a good call. So I don't actually mark anything. Not a big fan of this as far as I'm concerned because you know like now I'm like looking at like marking like an O1. Don't love that. But I think that's how it's going to be. Oh, they got plenty of cards over there. I wish I had some glimpse beyonds. I had some gloves beyond. All right, so Sivers at twenty. Okay, if I because if I block that then our kindred levels up and then we can mark another thing. Yeah, that turns that into a seven six. I don't 
really want to take the three damage. Get him, Kindred. Alright, Kindred will kill that thing. Nice, I like that. Alright, so we're two damage away. Oh man, that's not very much damage away. So I know I can mark any of these, but I also don't want to. I want to kind of kill these first and then like mark like the next thing they play. You know, like right, try try to save the mark for Viego. That's what I'm thinking. Oh wait, we're just gonna mark stuff like this, aren't we? Kindred's got some delay. Yeah, maybe we should just ricochet then. What is this? A 1717? What is this? Alright, cool. So I can deal with that. Keep it from killing me. So this is just the first time you slay a unit, you get the plus two, plus two, okay. Oh, come on. Yeah, I guess I lose. Alright, so I should have I should have ricocheted before attacking and everything last game. And you know, last turn and then but butchered. I guess I, I just I didn't have this on my radar. I did not have they who endure on my radar. You know, now next you know, the third time we play against this deck, then I'll have that card on my radar, I, I suppose. I was just much more worried about Viego and thinking about like what to do with Viego, but so probably Yetis now. That would be my um, expectation. Are some Yetis? Yeah, that was Sage. Viego endures. A true Felgorian will. Yeah, Shivana and Jarvan are both really good champions, and you have putting them with Sharima with vulnerable stuff. Sharima is Leaping into action. You know, probably the most powerful region right now, so yeah, but I bet that's pretty good. That sounds like a good combination. Our predictions are available. I think we're going to win or lose. We had a pretty cool Kindred game last game. I just I didn't really do the best against They Who Endure. I could have done better against They Who Endure. Because, like, also, like, the game before, we saw, like, Hydravine. And, you know, that's the thing. Like, if I go Ricochet there, and then they just play, like, and kill two things, but then they just play, like, a Hydravine. It's, like, two big blockers. Yeah, I just got caught by They Who Endure. Plus atrocity. It's a 
No, no vengeance in here. We have a couple copies of Siphoning Strike, but no, we are... I, I do not have a very good atrocity plan. Chase what you want without mercy. Great and dumb. Man, Troll Chant is... Not cool. Yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't even. Sure, I, I could have blocked with Kindred and then Vile Feast also and waited for them to play Atrocity first. I just didn't. Didn't even like I said. Didn't consider. I don't know. I just. So I haven't seen it in a long time. Just wasn't I wasn't expecting it. Time is money. Um, I would not say yeah. You just play hush. Like if if but again, we're not building decks to try to beat Thehuinder. Like it's just a, a random thing that happens in a random game. Like I I haven't played against the Thehuinder in months. I'm not gonna now change my deck to try to face it, like, or be better against it. Danger pays. Yeah, it could very well make a comeback with Viego, absolutely. And then we'll adapt at that point. But don't need to do anything about that right now. The Hydra, yes, the Hydra is very good for the who endure, but that is putting a lot of seven mana cards into one deck. And uh, yeah, you, you kind of only need one of the two, but they're both they're both amazing. But you don't really need like each one individually is amazing. Alright, so tap to under, like, Troll Chant. Yeah, we'll definitely try a Howling Abyss auction for sure. I'm not exactly sure how we are going to, you know, advance, like, the 16 rounds with the auction, or, you know, like, the, with the two landmarks and have, like, Howling Abyss in control. You know, I don't know, I don't exactly know how we're going to do it yet, but we'll definitely be doing it. Because y'all know I really, I love playing Siphoning Strike, Howling Abyss. Together, it's it's so much fun. Howling Abyss is just my favorite card in the game. Getting random level two champions is uh, uh, real fun. Smells like adventure and money, you mean? Time to smash! We can open attack. I am 20. Or oh, I'm at 17. I'm a long ways away. It's probably best to open attack. Oh man, but now we got Kindred. Otherwise, I could go Merciless Hunter. They can't really have like a spell plus Ruination, but they can have Ruination. Go Merciless Hunter, Kindred. Or just attack. So 17, so that's gonna be 24. Yeah, I guess it's like just like this. 
That's 2430. Just Kindred, then Quicksand. I'll just attack. So they got nine cards in hand, two of them are random level two champions. Shall stay alive. Could be walking into ruination. But I still have the silver coming back. Like, they Ruination, then I still go, like, Hunter, Hunter, and have Sivir coming back. Oh, and we get to play a new Sivir. So, yeah, Ruination doesn't hurt us too bad. And we're kind of, like, pressuring them into playing a Ruination. Oh, that's a good card. Ish. I'm a woman of principle. I is clean and get paid. All that glitters is mine. Thanks for hanging out. I will see you tomorrow. Ah, two of those. Well, that's going to be pretty good. So do these have like double spell shield? <laughs> okay, yeah. Because <laughs> like the the first the one on the left happens first, so it gives the sever on the right spell shield, and then the sever on the right happens, and so it gives them spell shield again? Question mark. Alright, so ended up with a you know, started off kinda rough, ended up with a respectable record there with our Sivir Kindred. You know, wanted to play a champion that not very many people play. Two and three, and you know, maybe could have been a three and two with like that they who endure matchup was pretty rough. Um, you know, could have maybe gotten a different win there. But you know, I think that aggressive kindred decks is kind of the way to play kindred from how I've um from my experience. At first I thought this would be like a real good control champion. But I've I've really kind of experienced that with the quick attack. Uh, you want to put pressure on the opponent. You want to make them like need to block and and uh, things like that. So I think that that's the way to go. I, Kindred probably could be a five five for how they they've printed Viego now, which Viego just being huge and everything. Um, you know, because like it says five four, but really as as we know, because the encroaching miss, this is a much 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 bigger card than five four all the time whenever you play it. It's it's really unfortunate that Kindred, Thresh, and Viego all take up that same spot on on the curve because they they could work well together and everything like that, but they all cost five. Then you just have like Maokai is the one that costs four. Maokai is pretty, bleh. I guess Nocturne costs four, but Nocturne doesn't really necessarily fit with them as much. Also, anyway, but there we go. Th that was uh, you know playing a Kindred deck. That's that's uh that's fun. All right, so uh, those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And feel free to leave those comments and let me know if you got other ideas for Kindred. Are you doing anything cool, Kindred? I would love to hear about it. All right, but that's going to be it here for this video. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.